Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Let me introduce myself. My name is Janan Zevanya Tampubolon, and I'm a public relations student at LSPR Communication and Business Institute under the supervision of Mr. Charles Bonarsirait as my mentor and my lecturer. I'm here today to talk to you about good health and well-being in SDGs, Sustainable Development Goals number 3, focused on mental health stigma in Indonesia. Talking about mental health, we can know that mental health can be influenced by occurrence in life that leave a great impact on a person's personality and behavior. This occurrence can take the form of domestic violence, child abuse, or severe long-term stress. If mental health is disturbed, then mental disorders or mental illness arise. These mental disorders can change the way a person handles stress, relates to other people, makes choices, and triggers the desire to hurt himself. Or even the worst can trigger a person to end his life. Then there are several types of mental disorder that are commonly found, including depression, bipolar disorder, anxiety, and other things. In the last few months, Indonesian people's awareness of mental health issues is considered to be increasing. In the past, maybe some people in Indonesia still turn a blind eye when discussing mental health disorders because it was considered a taboo subject. But if we realize now there are many communities, campaigns, chat on social media, and even film discuss about mental health. Although it has been widely discussed, unfortunately, mental health is still considered a stigma for some people. Indonesia, with all its occultism, considers people with mental health problems to be insane or possessed. Many also think people with mental problems are people who lack religious knowledge and are not close to God, though mental disorders are medical condition in the brain. Bad stigma regarding mental health still persists in Indonesia. Because of this, people with mental disorders actually feel isolated and hopeless. And fatally, they are increasingly afraid to seek help and end up wanting to and their lives by committing suicide. I have a fact from the Ministry of Health or Kemenkes, the fact that mental health cases are increasing, especially during the COVID-19 pandemic. The Ministry of Health noted that during the COVID-19 pandemic until June 2020, there were 277,000 mental health cases in Indonesia. The number of mental health cases has increased compared to 2019, which was only 197,000 people. Looking at the data above, it can be concluded that it is now appropriate for Indonesian people to educate each other to increase awareness of mental health. It would be much better if all levels of society realized the importance of mental health as one of the prevention efforts to reduce the number of people experiencing mental disorder. Mental disorders are not a disgrace to be ashamed of. Let's together eliminate the negative stigma that exists in society about mental health disorder and start acting more openly to mental health problems. One of the public figures stated that mental health is something that we all need to talk about and we need to take the stigma away from it. So let's raise the awareness. I'm Janet Zefanya Tambolan is signing out. Thanks for watching. Bye.